Next, we are discussing about another uh, subtopic of microbes in human welfare. What it is? That is, okay, microbes. in industrial products microbes in industrial products so various microbes we are using in the production of uh, chemicals and alcohol some enzymes some bioactive molecules different kinds of products we are obtaining in not in small amounts we request them in large amounts understood so to get that much large amounts of products we request very big industries so in all the industries to produce all those products in large scale just there also we are using uh, these microbes so that is the next subtopic of uh, chapter microbes in human welfare that is microbes in industrial products so, what are the main important products we are obtaining from industries by using microorganisms? Uh, you please enlist. Here, the first one is uh, key production of alcohol, production of alcohol, production of alcohol. The next one is the next one is chemicals. Some chemicals are going to be produced. What are the chemicals actually here? The first one is antibiotics. In the production of antibiotics and in the production of enzymes and in the production of bioactive molecules. Bioactive molecules. Mainly, here we are discussing about uh, all these uh, different kinds of products what uh, we are producing on uh, industrial scale or large scale by using microbes. Have a look into all these are the uh, products what we are obtaining. First one is production of alcohol. Before going to discuss about uh, production of alcohol, we must uh, focus on that uh, particular uh, containers in which uh, we are producing alcohol. Okay, so those particular containers what we are using for the production of alcohol are called okay, fermenters. Fermenters. So these fermenters are very important. What are fermenters? Fermenters are the large vessel or vessels which we used, which we used to produce produced alcohol produced alcohol by growing by growing microbes by growing microbes okay that is we are calling what fermenters fermenters are the devices are a very big tanks in which we are going to produce the alcohol by using uh, microorganisms you know right in the production of alcohol we are using a very important uh, yeast, very important microorganism that is yeast. Which type of yeast it is yeast? It is a Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Saccharomyces cerevisiae is an yeast member which we are adding to. Adding to. Okay, you know right, uh, malting of uh, different uh, cereals, grains. Okay, add to the malting of uh, different uh, juices, fruit juices. To all these different kinds of malting materials uh, or uh, something it is uh, into which we are adding these particular uh, uh, member of a microbe that is yeast, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, which convert them into alcohol. Alcohol. Understood? So, during the preparation of alcohol, we must depend on the microorganisms like uh, Saccharomyces cerevisiae is a chief or an important microorganism which convert or which ferment the fruit juices or malted cereals or grains what it turn into alcohol. So, you know right uh, that alcohol production is going to produce different kinds of uh, different varieties of alcohol uh, 
products or alcohol bottles we are observing in that some are they are uh, distillated some are they are not distillated so distillation process is uh, uh, used to uh, production of some uh, okay alcohol and the varieties of alcohols and in, in some uh, production product, products of alcohol they are not using a uh, they are not following distillation process so the varieties of alcohol generally are once you focus your concentration on this the production of alcohol done by different uh, kinds of raw materials kinds of raw materials we are using we are using the using raw materials like uh, you know right uh, malted cereals cereals malted cereals and also fruit different fruit juices different fruit juices okay these are the materials from these raw materials only we are going to produce alcohol produce alcohol understood by using by using a microbe like a okay, same microorganism like a yeast already we discussed yeast in the okay preparation of bread okay there we are calling that particular yeast saccharomyces cerevisiae easy as bakers yeast but here it is in the uh, in bakers yeast okay and here also we are observing that particular uh, yeast so it is uh, also called as brewers yeast understood so what is the yeast it is the member of yeast it is saccharomyces cerevisiae saccharomyces cerevisiae is the yeast member which ferment the okay malted cereals and fruit juices into alcohol so this alcohol is going to uh, after that uh, processing and uh, we are producing so many alcoholic drinks uh, and varieties of drinks uh, called you know right uh, right uh, wine beer and uh, whiskey uh, some other uh, alcoholic drinks like uh, uh, rum okay uh, like uh, different uh, varieties of alcoholic drinks we are observing right ma so all those are only uh, produced because of these activities were done by the microorganisms especially like uh, yeast that is saccharomyces cerevisiae you please remember understood now we are again discuss about uh, some other useful things by using microbes okay and we are what we are producing in industrial uh, uh, scale next one is uh, chemicals what it is chemicals different chemicals we are producing okay in that already i uh, given that list na in that the first one is antibiotics let us know something about antibiotics what is antibiotics antibiotics are the chemical substances uh, what we are using for medicatory purpose okay and antibiotics are very important uh, okay uh, medicatory substances are chemicals which is going to uh, uh, kill the bacteria or kill the microorganisms or retard the growth of the microorganisms these antibiotics if you are supposed to take uh, uh, the doctor what actually they prescribed some antibiotics if you are taking in the right uh, amount and right time then what happens it is going to kill the bacteria or kill the microorganisms which are causing some diseases in the body understood or otherwise uh, in some cases they may be slow down the growth of the or multiplication of the uh, or metabolism of those uh, pathogens which they are present in our body understood so these antibiotics are very important these are the chemical substances which we are using to kill bacteria or stop the or retard the growth of bacteria understood to uh, come out of the our uh, disease understood whatever it may be so that is the antibiotic uh, antibiotics are very important uh, uh, sub chemical substances what generally we are using these antibiotics uh, first discovered by this antibiotics uh, okay discovered by you know right uh, first person alexander fleming alexander fleming alexander fleming was a great scientist you know okay who first discovered
who first discovered first antibiotic first antibiotic that is penicillin penicillin from a microorganism a microbe that is fungus from fungus that is penicillium notatum penicillium notatum is a fungal member from which the first antibiotic like penicillin is going to be extracted understood that was done first time by the scientist alexander fleming understood so antibiotics uh, after that the, for, after the first discovery so many antibiotics they nowadays they are available for uh, cure so many diseases understood in that you know some antibiotics like streptomycin azithromycin clarithromycin etc you know very well i think right so all these are the different antibiotics uh, can a are able to cure so many diseases uh, and uh, stop the growth of disease causing organisms like bacteria understood so uh, nowadays these antibiotics requirement of antibiotics are not in very lesser quantities the requirement of antibiotics is needed uh, in a large scale so that much amount of antibiotics production is done by the industries okay so industry that's why those are come under industrial products uh, but th for the production of antibiotics we are using so many microorganisms uh, how we are extracting the penicillin from the fungal member like penicillium notatum what first discovery done by the scientist alexander fleming understood so behind this particular discovery of penicillin a small story okay every day the alexander fleming okay uh, is going to do their research work on some other uh, materials apparatus in the in his lab okay in that so many petri dishes are there okay in that uh, some are they are cleaned petri dishes some are they are not cleaned petri dishes in all the okay unwashed petri dishes uh, on some uh, he actually the alexander fleming is uh, conducting experiments on a bacteria called staphylococcus staphylococcus bacteria okay staphylococcus bacteria but what happened uh, okay on, on unwashed petri dishes uh, in so many on so many petri dishes uh, the staphylococcus bacteria is growing but uh, in all those uh, among all those uh, plates or petri dishes uh, okay on one of the plates uh, he uh, did not observe the growth of staphylococcus bacteria okay immediately he thought that uh, to know the reason why these staphylococcus bacteria uh, uh, was not grow on that particular petri dish then he checked out uh, then in that particular petri dish uh, he observed so much of uh, okay some very uh, small filamentous colonies they are growing like th those uh, called molds so many molds they are growing here the colonies can easy to visible to us of course you know yes so group of uh, colonies group of uh, colonies of fungi they are growing on the petri dish oh due to this uh, growing molds uh, a chemical a chemical is religious that is the chemical is responsible for stoppage of stop is of growth of bacteria growth of bacteria which bacteria on which bacteria he is doing experiments that is staphylococcus bacteria is not grow well on that particular only one petri dish it is a petri dish a glass uh, uh, material okay on this petri dish uh, this staphylococcus bacteria is not growing because these molds are growing well so immediately he thought that uh, that molds has uh, a variety of chemical which releases to stop the growth of bacteria staphylococcus so so why uh, we are not using that chemical to kill this type of bacterial or bacteria pathogenic uh, organisms like bacteria immediately they are going to extract that medicine and uh, uh, announced as that particular medicine uh, as easy as uh, okay not immediately by the alexander fleming but he thought that uh, it is a very important uh, uh, chemical which is going to stop the growth of bacteria after that uh, some other scientists also they joined they reopened that information some other experiments on that particular substance what it is and how it is used to stop the growth of bacteria which is going to cause some diseases okay in that some scientists like flory and ernest ernest chain ernest chain flory means howard flory howard 
Howard Florey. Howard Florey and Ernest Chain. These uh, two scientists reopened that uh, particular concept what given by Alexander Fleming. Later, finally, they are going to uh, know the extensively performance done by this particular uh, uh, fungus penicillium notatum in the form of a chemical called uh, penicillin, which now we understand as uh, now we are discussing as first antibiotic given by Alexander Fleming. So, in the year 1945, in 1945, for this extraordinary work done by the Alexander Fleming, Howard Flory, Ernest Chain, all these three scientists, means who, who are they? Fleming, Flory, and Ernest Chain, all these three scientists, okay, all these three scientists were uh, awarded were awarded Nobel Prize, awarded Nobel Prize, okay, and, uh, and before that, you know, right, uh, this is the particular uh, chemical substance uh, and uh, first antibiotic like penicillin, okay, how it, uh, how those people know very well about uh, it works as extensive work done, okay, during Second World War, American soldiers, they are going to use this antibiotic like penicillin, which is going to stop uh, and uh, cure the wounds. Uh, wounds what happened in all the uh, bodies of uh, soldiers. Uh, then they are uh, going to take this medicine as antibiotic, first antibiotic like uh, penicillin. Then that uh, uh, those people, those soldiers who are wounded uh, can easy to uh, cure all the wounds. So, after that they knew very well about that particular uh, uh, extensive work and performance what done by the particular uh, chemical called penicillin which obtaining from the microbe called penicillium notatum. So, for that extraordinary work what first given by Fleming and later it is going to uh, what we call uh, bring that information to entire world understood by those two scientists Flory and Ernest Chain uh, okay were awarded uh, Nobel Prize in the year 1945. So, this is the information about that particular uh, production of antibiotics. You know dear students these antibiotics are very important for uh, so many dreadful diseases. I think few diseases we better to recall what actually they are. You know right some uh, dreadful diseases like you know plague the disease plague and dreadful diseases like uh, whooping cough, whooping cough, whooping cough and dreadful diseases like uh, diphtheria, diphtheria and dreadful disease like you know right leprosy, leprosy like different kinds of diseases can uh, cure. Cure means what it is not complete cure, of course, if it is going to already said said, okay, whether that antibiotics are going to kill the bacteria or uh, stop the growth of the bacteria, understood? So, in all, for all these dreadful diseases like plague, whooping cough, diphtheria, leprosy, to all those particular diseases also, nowadays that antibiotics are available to control the uh, disturbances what caused by the bacterial organisms in the body of an individual. So, you know, right, for example, we better to unleash the plague disease, you know, plague, plague disease caused by the bacteria. So, we better to uh, know something well about that, uh, okay, dreadful diseases to whose, which diseases just we are going to use antibiotics, understood? I already I given that list now, in that first one is a plague, plague disease. You know plague disease is caused by a bacterium called, what it is, Yersinia, Yersinia pestis. Yersinia pestis is a bacteria which is going to cause a disease plague, dreadful disease plague. Plague generally, uh, yes, come from the okay, bites of uh, rodents. So, in the rodent's uh, uh, mouth and in saliva, this bacteria generally lives. Okay, if it is going to be may have that bite by the fleas or rodents, then this bacteria can easily to enter into our body, then it is causes the disease called plague. Okay, to the disease also we have an anti antibiotics. Understood? And the next one is uh, you know, right, whooping, whooping cough. Whooping cough. Whooping cough is also called as parchusis or purchases. Okay, purchases. So, this is the uh, disease, dreadful disease is also caused by bacterium, 
bacterium called Borgitella Borgitella Pachysis Borgitella Pachysis is a bacterium which causes swooping cough it is very uh, dangerous okay and it is uh, okay generally in all the children and uh, above 15 years uh, people also they are suffering from uh, whooping cough it is uh, caused by the Borgitella pertussis it is very uh, continuous uh, coughing we are observing and it is uh, creates some disturbances in the body okay the next one is a uh, dreadful disease to this whooping uh, cough also we have uh, some antibiotics understood to stop or uh, uh, control the disease that is whooping cough the next one is uh, diphtheria you know many times we hear this uh, uh, disease diphtheria so diphtheria is also a dreadful disease caused by the corini bacterium corini bacterium diphtheria corini bacterium diphtheria is a bacterium which causes a very dreadful disease called diphtheria okay to control this disease also we have some uh, antibiotics okay the next one is leprosy leprosy is also another another dreadful disease which is caused by a bacterium called mycobacterium mycobacterium leprae mycobacterium leprae you better to note down all these okay disease causing organisms what specifically they cause some their some diseases understood okay so all these are the dreadful diseases like so many are they okay to all the dreadful diseases uh, these antibiotics nowadays we are using okay before uh, in, uh, discovery of antibiotic it is not possible to control all these diseases okay millions of people they are going to die but now we are going to control that particular diseases only because of the presence of and the usage of antibiotics so try to understand imagine the world without antibiotics so every day many people they are uh, depends on these antibiotics if you are not uh, uh, having those antibiotics uh, what will happen imagine what is our environment without antibiotic so that much important uh, okay medicines just uh, we are also obtaining from large scale by using uh, from uh, microorganisms so large scale production we are done now uh, that's why it is also very important uh, uh, role played by the microbes uh, for the production of uh, uh, antibiotics after the antibiotics we are also uh, obtaining some chemicals like organic acids some very important organic acids in our regular life uh, these organic acids are also play pivotal role so what of course in that what kinds of organic acids we are obtaining from microorganisms so have a look so in that first one is uh, first organic acid like citric acid citric acid which it is acts as a, a very good uh, preservator or preservative material so whatever the food materials are going to be preserved for example tetra packets and some other uh, drinks we want to preserve for uh, two months or three months just simply we are going to increase their shelf life shelf life time or uh, freshness by using this uh, organic acid called citric acid it, it is a good uh, preservative this citric acid is also obtaining from a fungus called a fungus called or it is aspergillus aspergillus niger what is the fungus it is aspergillus niger aspergillus niger is a fungal member which is going to give release okay citric acid is very important organic acid okay in our daily life the next one is a next particular acid acetic acid you know acetic acid what we are using in the okay food materials like vinegar vinegar where it is adding some sour taste to the food understood in so many preparations like uh, uh, restaurants uh, some other uh, uh, areas food uh, preparing centers uh, they are using that vinegar as chief material which increases uh, okay what we call palatable taste very very uh, good taste like a uh, sour taste which is adding in the form of vinegar so that is uh, acetic acid so this acetic acid is also obtained from okay a bacterium called acetobacter 
Acetobacter ACT. Acetobacter ACT. It is a bacterium from which we are getting acetic acid. The next one is uh, next organic acid. It is also very important organic acid that is uh, butyric acid. Butyric acid. Okay. This butyric acid is also obtained from a bacterium called Clostridium. Clostridium butylicum. Clostridium butylicum is a bacterium from which we are getting butyric acid. The next one is uh, lactic acid. Already we discussed about lactic acid and its importance. Okay, this lactic acid is obtained from, already we discussed, from bacterium called lactic acid bacteria. What is its name? Okay, lactobacillus, lactobacillus delbrucki. Lactobacillus delbrucki is a bacterium okay, from which we are getting lactic acid. So, all these are the different organic acids what generally we are using in our daily life. Understood? Okay, not only the food purposes, some other cases, some uh, particular uh, organic acids they are also used for uh, uh, food additives or some other uh, paints, uh, some other uh, adhesive purposes or packaging purposes like different uh, kinds of uh, advantages, uh, purposes we are using, in all the purposes we are using these organic acids. So, these organic acids are also obtained from different kinds of bacterium and fungal members. So, these microbes are playing pivotal role in the production of organic acids. So, these particular uh, microbes we are not only using for the production of uh, uh, antibiotics, uh, for the production of alcohol, uh, just we are also using them in the other products like uh, enzymes. Enzymes, you know the importance of enzymes. Enzymes are very important uh, okay, chemical substances which they are play pivotal role in our uh, regular metabolic functions. Understood? and are, other, are otherwise uh, some other uh, uh, purposes we are using them in so many laboratory purposes. So, what uh, kinds of enzymes are going to produce from the microorganisms and what are the functions they carried out by all the enzymes, let us have a look. So, in that uh, we better to write all the enzymes what should, uh, what necessary to discuss. In that the first one is uh, lipages, lipages. So, lipages are also obtained from the uh, microorganisms. Of course, microorganisms they are very much important uh, uh, for uh, okay, purposes like removal of oil stains, oil stains from the uh, clothes. Okay, what where we are going to remove the oil stains in the laundry, laundry, just simply we are using them to remove all the oil stains. So, lipages are very important. So, enzymes are also obtained from microorganisms. And the next one is you know, right, uh, okay, different enzymes like pectinages. Pectinages and uh, okay, proteages. Okay. Pectinages and proteages. Whatever the pectinages and proteases in the large scale we are producing, they are very much useful for uh, clear the pulp in all the juices. You know, right? Different uh, pulpy material or juicy materials we are uh, using to uh, processing for making different uh, drink bottles, drinks. You know, right? Juice. Uh, drinks, drink bottles. In all the drink bottles, the drink, uh, once you focus, you are looking into the uh, drink and look into the liquid. What it is? It is very clarified. Okay. Clarified drink we are observing, liquid we are observing. Okay. How it is possible when compared to uh, juices what we prepared at a home? Okay. It is not that much uh, transparent, that much uh, uh, clarified. Understood? Clear. How? What is the difference? The difference is the pulp and that particular uh, uh, chemical composition which is present in the pulp is, no, is not present in all the processed drink bottles. What we are uh, uh, buying from the market or buying from the shops. Once you see the liquid is very transparent means very uh, clear. Okay, that uh, clearance uh, liquid uh, because of uh, removal of uh, okay some other materials like some other uh, different kinds of chemicals uh, which we are observing which they are uh, introducing into the juices by pulp. Understood? So to clear all the pulpy material, to clear all the uh, protein materials, uh, okay, just we are using some uh, enzymes called pectinages and uh, proteases which clear the clear the <coughs> pulpy materials 
and unwanted materials present in present in drink different drinks drinks what we processed in uh, drink bottles drink bottles so that is the difference just all the industry in all the industries they are using these uh, pectinages and proteases to clear the pulpy materials or unwanted materials excessive amount of protein materials all those are going to be cleared separated then clear drink only they processed into drink bottles that's why that much clarity we are observing in all the bottles when compared to juices what we made at home at our home right ma so that's why these pectinages and proteases are also very much important now that's why and the requirement is also very much needed in large quantities that's why they are also produced from the industrial level from different kinds of microorganisms we are getting these pectinages and proteases in industries so next enzyme that is streptokinase next enzyme it is streptokinase it is a very important enzyme streptokinase is very important enzyme which is very much uh, play role okay in the medicatory uh, conditions okay it is used as a clot buster agent clot buster removal means what it is uh, this streptokinase uh, is a enzyme produced by a bacterium called streptococcus streptococcus bacterium a bacterium called streptococcus bacterium from which an enzyme like streptokinase is going to be extracted or obtained this is a streptokinase we are using for uh, it is using as an agent for uh, clot buster clot buster what is clot buster it is an agent it is a very good agent for uh, okay uh, removal of uh, clots in the blood vessels okay the persons so many people they are suffering from blood clots blood clots understood in the blood vessels all the blood clots can easy to remove by using a very important uh, enzyme or chemical that is called streptokinase so this is the streptokinase is obtained from the bacterium called streptococcus bacterium streptococcus bacterium this streptococcus bacterium is the bacterium which gives a, a very much uh, uh, enzyme called streptokinase which remove remove blood clots blood clots uh, from blood vessels blood vessels okay if uh, these blood clots are not removed what happened you know understood these clots are not give the chance for passage of or conduction of blood or movement of blood isn't right if it is not move what happens automatically okay it is leading to give heart attack understood or some other uh, uh, myocardial infarctions are going to be taking place so the people who are suffering from myocardial myocardial infarctions infarction myocardial infarction okay myocardial infarction in which patients we are observing those people should take uh, streptokinase streptokinase is an enzyme which uh, remove blood clots from the blood vessels blood clots from that's why it is called blood uh, clot buster that's why it is called as clot buster which is produced by streptococcus bacterium in the industrial scale for uh, uh, require, uh, compensate the requirement of uh, an enzyme called streptokinase by all the people who are suffering from myocardial infarction which is leading to which is leading to heart attack which is uh, leading to heart attack understood so to reduce the cases of heart attacks just we go for uh, uh, take right check up with the cardiologist then they are also uh, understand if it is uh, if they may notice any clots in the blood vessels uh, they are also used to stop or remove the blood clots by using an enzyme called streptokinase which is very important enzyme uh, obtained by the bacterium called streptococcus bacterium so next one is not only these enzymes or alcohol production or uh, antibiotics we are also getting some other uh, useful products like uh, bioactive molecules bioactive molecules obtained from some microorganisms ma okay bioactive molecules 
especially here two important bio bio active molecules we are discussing here two important bio active molecules two important bio active molecules should be discussed here molecules so in that the first one is what it is okay the first one is uh, cyclosporin a cyclosporin a the first bioactive molecule which is very much important okay cyclosporin a the next type of bioactive molecule called that is statin what it is statins or statin these stat these two are very important uh, uh, for us understood how they are very much important once you focus okay cyclosporin a cyclosporin is a okay bioactive molecule which obtained from a fungus it obtained from a fungus okay a fungus called what it is you know okay trichoderma the fungus name is trichoderma polysporum what it is ma tell me trichoderma polysporum you please remember each and every organisms names and their function and that particular products or the particular chemicals what we are obtaining from the specific organism and their functions are very 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 important for our need so you please note each and every point and uh, practice well then only is uh, able to uh, understand the content and remember the content and recall the content during uh, examination to take right option as answer so cyclosporin a is a bio, is a bioactive molecule which obtained from a fungal member a fungus named trichoderma polysporum then what is the purpose of cyclosporin a first we focus uh, we understand the cyclosporin a which obtained from a fungus uh, trichoderma polysporum is used as is a uh, used as uh, immunosuppressive agent immuno suppressive agent immuno suppressive agent in okay organ transplant patients organ transplant patients you know dear students so many uh, persons are suffering from uh, okay improper work done by their organs na understood some organs of course all are not possible some organs are going to be transplanted if they may have right donor okay then when they are going to take that organ from a, a donor what happens immediately whatever the grafting they done grafting is nothing but a particular uh, outer organ which is placing in their body then what happens immediately their body immune system is going to be respond to stop or create some disturbances okay with a new organ what it is inserted into the body at that time that uh, own immune system of our patient or a person recipient uh, is going to be suppressed need to suppressed because they are giving artificial uh, immunity for uh, scope uh, increase the uh, required chemicals uh, what it is uh, needed to insert uh, insert the organ in the body then at that time that uh, particular chemical they are using like cyclosporin a which is acts as immuno suppressive uh, agent in only organ transplant patients organ transplant patients understood whoever they may be have uh, organ transplantation in those recipients body their own immune system is uh, up to some extent of time just they have to suppress that immune system okay so uh, to suppress them requires some chemicals in that uh, first one is uh, cyclosporin a which is very important to uh, used uh, for uh, immuno suppressive agent used as immuno suppressive agent in organ transplant uh, patients okay the next one is a uh, very important another bio acto molecule called statins statins are used okay as a uh, okay uh, cholesterol blood cholesterol lowering agent in the blood whatever the cholesterol levels are slowly increases okay if it is very danger to the okay circulation in our body it is very harm to the life of the uh, person so in that situation we have to reduce the cholesterol in the blood how we reduce the cholesterol in the blood by using some chemicals uh, like bioactive molecules like uh, statins 
these statins are play pivotal role in the uh, pivotal role in the reducing cholesterol in the blood understood that's why it is used as a okay cholesterol lowering agent in the blood cholesterol lowering agent in the blood or blood cholesterol lowering agent understood so it can easy to uh, clear the clear the cholesterol when we are taking these statins then they are going to reduce the cholesterol deposition of cholesterol in the blood vessels especially in the arteries you know right whatever the material is going to be uh, transported okay from the body what happens uh, that lumen of the arteries are very important its diameter is very important okay if the diameter slowly decreases by the deposition of cholesterol what happens automatically narrow lumen we are observing the lumen size is going to be decreases the lumen size is needed normally for example its own radius or diameter if it, due to deposition of in, inner walls of the arteries uh, due to deposition of cholesterol what happens uh, slowly the radius the diameter is going to be decreases the lumen size is going to be decreases then it is not possible to, to uh, conduct the blood or transport the blood to all the body parts at that time what happens automatically bp is going to be rise up so it is called the condition is called hypertension understood so that's why in that situations uh, we have to clear the cholesterol depositions in the arteries or blood vessels okay by using a bio bioactive molecule called statins so these statins are okay produced by produced by a micro microorganisms are called what it is monascus monascus purpureus tell me what it is monascus purpureus it is a yeast okay it is produced by yeast what is the yeast it is that yeast name it is monascus purpureus this is the monascus purpureus uh, produces statins uh, which is uh, which is acting as they acts as okay, blood cholesterol blood cholesterol lowering agents blood cholesterol lowering agents uh, to stop to reduce the heart attack conditions understood so it is very important uh, bioactive molecule uh, children statins which produced by the yeast called monascus purpureus which we are using to clear the blood cholesterol that's why it is called as blood cholesterol lowering agent okay already explained ma suppose to take it is the diameter of the blood vessel whatever the blood vessel supposed to take it is conducting blood it is conducting blood supposed to take it is conducting blood what happens this is the lumen what is it what it is it is a lumen if the lumen size is normally like this if it is deposited by unwanted cholesterol if it is deposited by unwanted cholesterol here like this if the cholesterol is going to be deposited inside the or inner wall of the tube inner wall of the blood vessel what happens uh, automatically the lumen size is going to be decreases if the lumen size decreases automatically bp increases blood pressure increases if the blood pressure increases which is uh, slowly leading to give a uh, heart attack heart attack so like that uh, all these are the problems are going to controlled uh, by removal of uh, cholesterol depositions in the inner uh, wall of the arteries as blood vessels uh, by using a bio bioactive molecule called statins now got the point so like that uh, just uh, by producing all these different kinds of chemicals uh, just to be required uh, we depend on uh, microorganisms what the all these are the products only we are obtaining from uh, industries uh, industries uh, for uh, large scale production because uh, all these are the products are very 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 uh, important uh, very very much required uh, by all the people now that's why these products and their quantities uh, more requirement is uh, more okay that production is done only by all the industries uh, that's why it is the topic uh, microbes in uh, industrial products students this bioactive molecule like statins how do they reduce how do they lower the cholesterol levels in the blood vessels so you know right generally cholesterol which is present in the blood we just uh, understand in two different uh, types of uh, components like uh, ldl and hdl okay low density lipoproteins and high density lipoproteins in these two low density lipoproteins are somewhat dangerous to the human health understood means uh, this low 
density lipoproteins are uh, causes uh, the deposition of uh, cholesterol in the inner wall of uh, blood vessels especially arteries which is not uh, give the chance for transporting blood in the normal pressure okay normal blood pressure so when the lumen size decreases automatically you know blood pressure increases means a torsion increases then it is not possible to pass the blood in the with a normal blood pressure so hypertension it is leading to give hypertension which is leading to give heart attack so this ldl levels are not okay much good for human health that's why this ldl levels are going to be controlled by the bioactive molecules called statins how this is the cholesterol is not uh, okay uh, increase its level in the blood vessels by bioactive molecule like statins how this statin is acts as a competitive inhibitor for the synthesis of enzyme hmg coa what it is the enzyme it is okay hmg coa hmg means what it is a 3 hydroxy 3 methyl glutaryl coenzyme a it is an enzyme precursor for the synthesis of uh, precursor for the synthesis of uh, cholesterol okay whatever the substance is needed to produce in the body requires enzymes okay enzymes play a key role in the body you know biocatalysts they are biocatalysts everywhere in any kind of reaction their importance their role is there so here also for the synthesis of cholesterol here hmg coa is also very important but that enzyme is not synthesized okay synthesized because statins are going to be stopped that synthesis of hmg coa as a statins as a competitive inhibitor due to the competitive inhibitor like statins uh, there is no possibility to produce hmg coa or whatever it may be cholesterol synthesizing enzyme then that without enzyme there is no possibility to synthesize synthesis of cholesterol then that uh, uh, no, low level of cholesterol we are observing or the uh, little amount of cholesterol is not possible to deposit immediately to decrease the lumen size of the blood vessels. Uh, so like that when we are using statins uh, reduce the or lowering the cholesterol deposits in the blood vessels and clear the cholesterol in the blood vessels. So like that these bioactive molecules like statins uh, okay, are very much useful uh, substances which we are obtaining from the yeast. Uh, what is the yeast name? It is Monascus purpureus. Monascus purpureus is a yeast member. So, which is uh, giving up bioactive molecule like uh, okay, statins, uh, which acts as a blood cholesterol lowering agent. So, like that, uh, we discussed many of the microbes and their uh, production, okay, products what we are obtaining regularly, understood? And uh, industrially, how we increase their uh, pro productivity in the large scale from uh, the usage of microorganisms, everything we discussed. In the next lecture, we are going to discuss about uh, okay, microbes uh, in sewage and treatment, microbes uh, in the production of biogas, microbes as biocontrol agents, microbes uh, as biofertilizers. Okay? Thank you. Before going to uh, leave this session, uh, you uh, please listen one word, students. You please maintain running notes and uh, note down each and every point and each and every organism, whatever the uh, concept we are discussing. You please remember and revise, recall everything. It is very, very important uh, for uh, uh, understand the concept to write a uh, neat exam well. Understood? So, all the best. Thank you.